Libby Wimbley, Birdhouse Builder, by Amy Cobb, illustrated by Alexandra Minax. Chapter One, A Snow Day. Libby Wimley hopped out of bed. She tugged on her favorite sweater. Then she ran downstairs where mom and dad sat by the fireplace. I'm late for school, Libby cried. Mom smiled. It's okay. There's no school today, Libby. Dad smiled too. No school, Libby thought. She must be still dreaming. Look, mom pointed to the window. Libby looked outside. The barn roof was white. So were the fences and dad's tractor too. The whole farm was covered in a fluffy white blanket. It snowed, Libby said, jumping up and down. And it's still snowing, mom said. Yay, Libby cheered. She skipped all around the house singing. It's a snow day, it's a snow day, it's a snow day. Chapter 2. Hungry Birds A snow day is made to spend with friends, so Libby's best friend Becca came over. They made snow angels. They built a snow family, and they sledded down the biggest hill on the farm. What do you want to do next, Libby? Becca asked. Libby thought about it. Let's look for animal tracks in the snow. Cool, Becca said. First, Libby spotted a heart-shaped footprint. This one belongs to a deer, she said. The girls followed it until it disappeared into the forest. Next, they found a set of rabbit footprints near the path that led to the pond. Then Becca said, Libby, check out these footprints. Libby took a closer look. Three tiny toes pointed forward and one longer toe pointed backward. These are bird tracks, Libby said. The girls followed the bird tracks to the tall oak tree in the backyard. There were red birds, there were blue birds, and there were plump gray snow birds flying around the tree's bare branches. The birds are hungry, Libby said. They can't find worms and bugs beneath all this snow. That's sad, Becca said. Libby nodded. I know. Let's go inside and find some snacks for them. And snacks for us too, Becky said. Of course, Libby smiled. Chapter 3. A Great Idea Libby and Becca went inside. Mom had snacks waiting. There was buttery popcorn and oatmeal raisin cookies, hot chocolate too. Libby said, Mom handed Libby and Becca a mug. This will warm you girls up. Thank you, they said. Mom was right. The hot drink did make Libby feel warm, but Libby still thought about the birds outside. I wish the birds liked the hot chocolate, she said. Then... They wouldn't be cold either. We could knit them some tiny scarves, Becca joked. Libby smiled as she pictured birds wearing fuzzy scarves. But then Libby thought of a real way to help the birds. Becca, let's build the birds a house, Libby said. That's a great idea, Becca agreed. Libby could hardly wait to get started. Chapter four, help wanted. Libby and Becca needed some help. They found mom in the kitchen. Mom, can you help us build a birdhouse? Libby asked. It'll keep the birds warm, Becca added. Mom stirred cookie dough. I'm sorry, girls. I still have more cookies to bake. That's okay, mom, Libby said. She and Becca slipped back into the coats. Then they headed to the barn. Dad, can you help us build a birdhouse? Libby asked. I wish I could, Dad said, but I'm helping your brother, Stuart. And I are making a target for a snowball toss game. 
It's going to be awesome, Stuart said. Want to play? That sounds like fun. Maybe later, Libby said. She and Becca had a birdhouse to make. Libby was pretty sure they could build one on their own. We'll need wood, Libby said. Don't forget glue, Becca added. The girls gathered the supplies. Then they set to work. Before long, the birdhouse was finished, but it wasn't very sturdy. Libby eyed the lopsided birdhouse. No bird would want to live here, she said sadly. Chapter 5. Welcome, birds. At least we tried, Libby, Becca said. Libby knew Becca was right, but she still hoped they could find a way to help the birds warm. Then Libby thought of something else. How about a treehouse? Building a treehouse sounds even harder, Becca said. Right, but I know where there's one already made, Libby smiled. Follow me. Soon, Becca said, there are those deer tracks again. And Libby pointed to a small evergreen lying on the ground. There's the tree house. I saw it earlier when we were looking for animal tracks. The girls dragged the tree home. They leaned it against the fence. Dad, Mom, and Stuart gathered around the tree too. What's this? Stuart asked. It's a tree house for the birds, Becca said. They can roost inside the branches to keep warm, Libby added. We'll hang snacks on there for them too. Can we help? Stuart asked. Sure, Libby said. Mom brought out popcorn and bits of oatmeal raisin cookies. Libby and Becca dabbed peanut butter on pine cones. Dad and Stuart tied the tree to the fence so it wouldn't topple over. Wait, Libby said, running into the barn. She came back with a board from the lopsided birdhouse they'd built earlier. On it, she'd written, Welcome, birds. That's so cute, Becca said. Thanks, Libby smiled. Now the birds really did have a perfect winter treehouse. 